We have a major problem in our homemade greenhouse. It is hotter than Hades in here right now. This morning, it was 47 degrees outside, and in here, it was over 100 degrees because the sun was just beating down on it, and we already had some seedlings take a hit from it. So what I'm going to do is test some solar fans that I got off of Amazon. I'm going to have an inlet here, an outlet on the other door, and see if that can get airflow moving in here because airflow is super important in your greenhouse. And we're completely off grid here. We're a quarter mile away from the nearest electricity, so I have to be smart. I can't leave the doors open because animals, bugs could get in. So let's give these fans a try. So here it is. I bought two of these fans, $50 a piece. So like I said, in the title, we're going to see if for $100, we can get this thing to cool down. So they come shipped packaged pretty well. Here are the solar fans. This is the intake. This is the exhaust. Here's the cabling for the fans. Hardware packaged nicely. Bracket for the solar panel and the solar panel itself. This is a 25 watt solar panel. I've already tested the fan. When it is sunny out, this thing moves. You can feel the air and I'm excited to see what it can do. I'm sweating in here right now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is hot. It is over hundred degrees again. So let's get going. So far, the installation has been pretty straightforward. I would say the hardest part, at least for me, is actually cutting this hole out. A, because I'm not a carpenter, but B, I don't really have a lot of the tools, but I did it with a battery powered skill saw or circular saw and a sawzall. I think you could actually do it with a hand saw and a drill bit if you really needed to. Four and seven eighths and then 10 and a half inches here. I found uh, my length down from the top of the door and then I love using masking tape for stuff like this because A, it's pretty easy to get a true corner or a 90 degree corner or a square corner using the masking tape. So lay the masking tape down, find the center line, find the length, find the height, and then cut through using the circular saw, saw it off, clean it up, and you're good to go. See, and this is the intake fan. This is the inside. We're gonna actually be blowing cooler air from the outside, at least most more often than not, it'll be cooler than the inside air. Let's get this in the, the duct. So it works really well. The cable's gonna hang on the inside. And I actually accounted for that and thought about that on the exhaust fan. And I'll show what I did and how I modified the door here in a second. But let's get this installed first. I don't have anybody on the inside pushing for me. So I'm gonna refrain from pushing too hard. Don't wanna have the greenhouse fall in. So there's one. And there's two. So yeah, overall not that bad so far. Ooh, I'm getting so excited. So I don't have the solar panel mounted how I think I'm gonna mount it yet, but I just wanna see if, oh, there it goes. Oh, it's on. Well, if you can hear it, you can feel it. Let me get the solar panel and some non-blocked sun. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, I can feel the cool air. I can feel the cool air. Oh, yes. Oh, so we're, <laughs> I am genuinely excited. We're doing this off grid. Like I said, we're a quarter mile away from electricity and we just, oh, it's crazy how cool that air feels. I can feel it all the way, all the way off camera. So, okay. Let's get the other side installed. All right, I'm still on cloud nine because of how well the first fan was blowing. And I put two different thermometers in the greenhouse and the section closer to that uh, fan is about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the section closer to the exit. So just a reminder, I have a 30 foot long greenhouse right now. Uh, so for the exhaust fan, I was talking about how I um, did something a little bit different. The depth of the fan is about an inch and a half. And so I built an inch and a half out here and I'll actually be able to put it, uh, the housing, I'll secure the housing here similar to how I did on the outside of the greenhouse on the other side. And then I just did a slot here so the cable uh, can hang out. Um, I didn't want the cable or the fan unit itself on the outside of the greenhouse uh, just for being exposed to the element, elements. So this should still work as an exhaust. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it hooked up. Very similar to what we did on the other side. Let's just get it screwed in. <laughs> All right, moment of truth for the outlet or exhaust fan. Oh, it's working, getting good sun. It's actually partly cloudy right now. I know it looks like it's crazy sunny in here, but it's, right now it's partly cloudy. This is turning fine. I'm going to see if I can feel the hot air by going outside. Oh, 
insane difference. Crazy how much warmer the air uh, coming out of the fan is compared to what it is outside. So super excited. Um, I'm going to give this a few minutes to circulate and get cooled down and give my final thoughts on it. All right, we've come a long way from this morning. I could feel the cool breeze on my back from the solar powered fans. So the challenge was, could I cool the greenhouse for $100 by purchasing two $50 solar fans off of Amazon? And the answer is yes, for the most part. So why do I say yes for the most part? This is a very large greenhouse. It is 30 feet long. I can feel the cold air from the outside hitting my back. Uh, it is only in the 50s right now and it's worked. But with how long it is, I feel like I need to have one more fan in the center to help blow towards the exhaust fan. So once again, I'm going to say this works. It works. I ordered another one. It will be here Tuesday. I'll do an update in the future. But if you have a chicken coop or a small shed or even a smaller greenhouse, one of these fans could totally pull in enough cool air or exhaust it however you want to do it. Check the link below. I have in the description, I have it linked to Amazon. It helps our channel out if you purchase. So just know that, full disclosure on that. And as always, please give a like, a share, and subscribe. And we can't wait for what next weekend brings and what project we're going to work on next. Thanks.